Welcome to another segment of Ask Dr. Newfreezer. Welcome, everyone. My name is Dr. Newfreezer, and this is Ask Dr. Newfreezer, a segment where I dedicate myself to one person or a group at a time and answer their questions to the best of my knowledge and ability. Granted, not all questions can be answered, nor should they be. My dad always says, ask a stupid question and get a stupid answer. So on that note, let's get started with this segment's question. This segment's question just so happens to come from Patrick Will I Am over on Instagram. Patrick Will I Am from Instagram asks, Dear Dr. New Freezer, if you can go anywhere since you're not tied down, why did you go to California? First off, I would like to take the time to thank Patrick Will I Am for submitting their question to me. It really means a lot to me when y'all engage and ask me questions. So on that note, let me get this segment started by answering Patrick Will I Am's question. If I can go anywhere, since I'm not tied down, why did I go to California? Well, it started back in October 2017 when I had my last car accident and the police wrecked my car during a high-speed chase. At that time, I found out I was with the wrong car insurance agency, so I wasn't going to get my car fixed. It was a Lexus. Unless I paid completely out of pocket, along the, with the fact that I still owed 350000 kroners on the car. This was the time I was really starting to try to sing again, and I was really into pop music. That includes K-pop, etc. Also, I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people traveling and having fun. So that is when I decided, before buying a new car, I'm going to travel a bit. So I booked a test flight, because I had never purchased my own plane tickets before. My mom had always done that for me. So I wanted, you know, that experience for myself. Well, it turned into a real flight. And the next thing I knew, I was in New York. It's Halloween. And I'm meeting Rick Ross in Times Square. I was like, New York is awesome. I had never been there before and had only 24 hours to be there. It was only 24 hours because I wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. So I had my mom book me a flight home and paid her back on payday. But I was there for 24 hours. And in those 24 hours, I had found me some weed on the streets. So I went and found me a cut. I rolled one, smoked it, and took off on foot exploring everywhere. I had such a great experience my first time ever being in New York, I decided that I would return for a real visit next time, but on my birthday, and buy me a guitar. So the next May, I took off again and flew back to New York. But this time, I would spend more than 24 hours there. I booked on Booking.com a two-bedroom apartment for the weekend out in New Jersey. Well, something told me to take all the money off of my car, except the plane ticket money. I only expected to stay in New York slash New Jersey for a weekend, just long enough to buy a guitar and muck around a bit for my birthday. <clears throat> I found a guitar, a red one. The pictures are on my Instagram. It was in the pawn shop. We don't have pawn shops in Iceland. Anyways, the pawn shop was right down the street from the apartment I was renting. So I bought it the next morning. Well, later on that evening, the owner of the apartment started charging my car over and over and over again. And stole all my money. The apartment was already paid for, so now I have no money for a plane ticket home 
and only a thousand dollars in cash to spend. So I got on Booking.com and found a way to contact the owner. I met up with the owner the next day and they apologized. I think they expected me to be on a flight back home by the time they decided to steal my money and it would have been too late to notice. But that didn't happen. It didn't pan out well for them. So long story short, I ended up homeless in New York slash New Jersey. All my card money is gone. I can't get a flight or another room because there's no money left on my card. And of course, my banks are from Iceland. They're not from the United States. So I can't just run to an ATM or a bank and put money back on my card. I was fucked. So I ended up working for the people who ripped me off. Yeah, they got some free fucking labor, basically. Instead of just paying me my money back, I had to work. I made half of the money back and said, fuck New York, and caught a greyhound to Florida. I said, if I'm going to be stuck in America and be homeless, I'm at least going to do it on the beach. So the next thing I knew, I was traveling the entire East Coast, headed to South Beach, Florida. This is still within the month of May, 2018. My mom, as usual, didn't listen to me when I said I had been robbed and everything that I was going through in New York. So this time I called my dad when I got to Florida. After spending two weeks in South Beach, he decided to help me get back home to Iceland and spent $2,000 for a ticket back to Iceland, but the airline ripped him off. So he spent another $2,000 and some dollars for another ticket back to Iceland. I still have to pay him back. Anyways, during all of this, I am now traveling with a guitar and no case. So by the time I had made it back to Iceland, my guitar was broken. I tried to find someone in Iceland to fix my guitar, but it wasn't happening. And the price from two people that could fix it was going to cost me more than the trip back to the United States and back to Iceland again. And so I decided, well, I guess if I want to play guitar, I need to fix it. So it looks like I'm going to take a trip back to the United States. Well, I was basically robbed in New Jersey and ended up homeless in New York and eventually South Beach, Florida. Fuck that noise. I'm going somewhere else. So, I did a Google search and saw that Guitar Center was located in California also. So, I looked in the tickets and with Wow Air, it was only going to cost me $200 to come to Cali. And about two, three hundred dollars to return home, leaving me with over a thousand some dollars to spend on a 23 day trip. And it's not going to cost that much to fix a guitar. And besides, I used to live in California back in 2009, and my oldest son was born in California, so I decided to come to California. So on June 1st, 2018, I came to Cali. And by the 17th, I got robbed. And I've been stranded here ever since. But I hope that answers your question of why I came to California. I also wanted to see Neverland. And there's a few other things I wanted to do in California. So on that note, I will end this segment. So if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, and turn on all my notifications by ringing my bell. Please follow all of my social media listed in the description down below. And stay tuned for the next segment of Ask Dr. New Freezer. Have a blessed day, week, month, and year. Thanks for watching. I'll holler at y'all later.